Hello, I'm doing a book review, and the book I want to review is Layer by James Herbert. Now, Layer was published in 1979, and this is a sequel to James Herbert's 1974 novel, The Rats. Now, I've already reviewed The Rats back in 2018, and I'll leave a link in the description below to where you can check out that review. Now, I really loved The Rats. I thought that was a very effective horror novel. Layer, I thought, was a decent follow-up, but it's nowhere near as good as the first novel. Now, what the plot of Layer is it's set four years after the events of the first novel, where giant mutated rats terrorize London, but were eventually destroyed. But in this book, you find out that some of those rats managed to escape into Ebon Forest, where they have rebuilt their population. And you find out that in the four years since the rats attacked London, basically being an exterminator or a rat catcher is now considered to be almost just as important as being in the military, because everybody's determined to prevent another disaster like the one that happened in the first novel. But the novel follows a rat catcher named Luke. Pender, who works for Rat Kill, the rodent extermination agency that we saw in the first novel, and he starts investigating possible rat activity in Ebon Forest and discovers to his horror that everybody's worst fears has become a reality. The giant black rats that devastated London have returned. Now, as I said, Layer I thought was a decent horror novel, but it is a bit of a letdown if you compare it too much to the first book. Now, what the book does start out kind of slow-moving, and in the beginning, I wasn't really sure if I was liking it or not, but eventually it does pick up, and when it does, it more or less maintains a pretty brisk pace throughout. And there are some really intense sequences in this book. Like, there's a scene where Pender is leading all these men to these sewer entrances because they believe all the rats are down in the sewers, and their plan is to seal off all the exits and trap them down there and gas them, but they don't realize that some of these rats have climbed up into the trees, and basically the rats descend upon these men, and what follows is a particularly brutal and bloody sequence. Pender, of course, being the hero of the novel, does make it out of there, but he doesn't make it out of there unscathed. And the book is also very, very gory. Like, James Herbert describes the carnage that these rats cause in very vivid detail. There are also some really interesting sections of this book where it's basically told from the rat's perspective. Like, it turns out that all the rats are subservient to this one giant two-headed rat that all the other rats fear, but there's one rat who you could tell is trying to kind of start an insurrection against this mutated king rat. I thought that was really interesting, and you start following this one particular rat who's kind of trying to rebel. But Layer certainly has its flaws, but a lot of its flaws are really in just comparing it to the first novel. The first novel had a lot of social commentary in it on things like class systems, Systems. Keep in mind, it's been about two years since I've read the book, but from what I remember, there was this whole thing where the British government wasn't really doing anything about the rats in the beginning because it was really only the poorer areas in London that were being affected by these creatures. But you don't really get that same social commentary in this book. This is really more of a straightforward monster story. Also, in the first book, you realize that the rats carried a deadly virus, so even people who survived being attacked by the rats would end up dying anyway from this disease. But in this book, you find out that they found a cure for this virus, so people do survive being attacked by the rats in this novel, and basically that kind of removes at least 50% of the tension that made the first novel so intense. Now, Pender is a fairly likable protagonist, but a little cliched. Like, you find out that he bears a personal vendetta against the rats. Like, it turns out his family was killed during the rat attacks of the first novel. And it's like, okay, we've seen shit like that in how many other things? But I can't really crap on it too much, because there are books that I really like that have that same kind of cliché. Also in the novel, Pender develops a romantic relationship with this girl named Jenny, and their relationship is really, really forced. 
Now, I don't mind romantic subplots in books like this, if the romance actually feels believable, and if the love interest also feels like her own character. The issue here is I did not buy Pender and Jenny's relationship at all, and Jenny really isn't much more than Pender's love interest in the novel. To me, she never really feels like her own character. And there's a rather gratuitous sex scene between these two characters towards the end of the novel, which I wouldn't have minded again if I actually gave a shit about this romance. But despite its flaws, Layer is a fun read. I do have a soft spot for these killer animal type novels. And I do recommend it, but I recommend the first book way more. Now, there were two more rat sequels after this one. There was Domain in 1984, and then there was The City, which was a graphic novel published in 1993. And the first book in this series, The Rats, was adapted into a film called Deadly Eyes in 1982. There was also a made-for-TV movie called The Rats in 2002, but as far as I know, that one has no relation to the James Herbert novel. But yeah, that was my review on Layer by James Herbert, and bye.